It has been a deadly 2020 in Grand Rapids, and COVID-19 is not the only killer. The city has recorded the same number of homicides halfway into the year as it did for all of last year. Barton Dieter is here now with a look at the tragic trend. Barton. Brian, police are working to solve the killings and have made arrests, but the killings still put the city on a pace to match a sad milestone. Among those killed, 55-year-old Tracy Hunter stabbed to death at his home on Bates Street Southeast. Lamont Cedric Player, 52, is awaiting trial, charged with open murder. On March 4th, eight-month-old Josiah Guyton died from blunt force trauma at a home on Front Street south of Leonard. The boyfriend of the child's mother, 25-year-old Jermaine Abran, is charged with first-degree murder in that case. 19-year-old Angel De Leon was shot and killed on March 24th on St. Charles Street and Cutler Avenue on the southwest side. No one's been arrested in that killing. It was 1993 when Grand Rapids was seeing a plague of gang violence as drugs, primarily crack cocaine, were being sold on the streets and 34 people were killed. In 2014, Grand Rapids had only nine murders. And if the pace of homicides set already 17 this year continues, Grand Rapids could equal that 1993 record. The average number of annual killings over the last 30 years is 17, and summer has just begun here. In studio control, Barton Dieters, News 8.